Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael and I'm so happy to see you. And as usual, we're continuing with practical data solutions. Recovering a deleted Gmail account. It could happen, like sometimes you do this accidentally or sometimes you do this intentionally, but you regret about your decision in a few weeks time. So anyhow, we're, we're going to show you how to do that. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael and as usual, we're here with more practical data solutions. Today, the topic is a little bit more specific and um, could be caused by various decisions or actions on your side. Uh, it could be that you accidentally deleted your Google account or probably you did it on purpose, but now you're regretting about your decision and want to bring it back. No matter what, there is a way most likely and we're going to show you how to do it. And of course, if you're enjoying such kind of tutorials about recovering data and similar topics, make sure to be subscribed to the channel for more practical data solutions. Okay, diving into the topic and let's first of all talk about the probability of you having a successful recovery. If you have purged your accounts like two to three weeks ago, yes, the chances are still very high, but if that happened like six or seven months ago, it's very likely that Google has entirely purged everything out of their service, so it would be kind of mission impossible. Now, let's explore how the procedure actually works, but keep in mind that depending on your account security, you might have to go through a few additional extra steps, and that's in case you have the two-factor authentication. We're going to cover them both, but of course, as usual, we're starting with the basics and with the essentials. First, let's start with the steps to recover an account when you do remember the password and haven't enabled two-factor authentication. Go to the official Google Recovery page, as listed here on the screen. Enter your email address, click Next. On the next screen, you're going to be asked to enter the last password that you remember. Make sure to enter the most recent password if you want to instantaneously reactivate the Gmail account. If the entered password is accurate, your account is going to be restored and you're going to see a confirmation message on your screen. At this point, besides being super happy and thankful that it eventually worked, uh, make sure to click the continue button and then best practice is to make sure to click the change password link and follow the procedure to reset your password just in case. The second path we're going to follow is for those of you who use the two-factor authentication method. As we mentioned earlier, it would require a few extra steps in order to reactivate the account. The two-factor authentication is simply a security measure designed by Google to restrict unauthorized users from accessing or reactivating the Google account. So again, you have to go to Google's official recovery page and enter the email address that you want to recover. Then you click Next and enter the password. Once the password is verified successfully, you're going to be prompted to a new page where you have to enter the registered phone number. Make sure to enter the correct number. Click Next. Now you're going to receive a push notification for the Gmail app on your smartphone. Open this notification. From there, you copy the verification code and paste it into the tab. Wait for the procedure to complete. And once it's finally over, yes, you would be able to log in back to your Gmail account. So far, so good, but there's a big if. What if you don't remember your password? Well, then things are becoming significantly more complicated and you're gonna have to open a reactivation request, send it to Google and hope that they would approve it. So yeah, it's quite obvious that in case you don't remember your password, your chances of getting your previous email back are pretty low, but there still is a hope. So let me show you how to do that. Go to the Google account recovery page, type in the email address that you want to reactivate, click next and instead of entering the password, tap the try another way link. You're going to be asked to answer the security questions or enter the date when you created the account. Make sure to enter the correct details, otherwise you won't be able to recover the Google account at all. Now, enter an email address to receive the reactivation link in case Google decides to approve your request. In general, it can take 6 to 12 hours or even more for Google to respond to such requests. If the request gets approved, you're going to receive the reactivation link at the provided email address. Click the links, follow the on-screen instructions and 
yes, your email is going to be back, which I really hope. So these are the ways of how you can reactivate a previously deleted Google account, no matter intentionally deleted or not. Now, the, the odds are significantly higher in case you do remember your password and you keep your smartphone around. And if you do that within a time frame of, you know, two to three weeks after the deletion, because if you try and attempt to recover your email after an year or two, it's most likely not going to happen. And let us know how this worked. If it helps you to recover your Google account, then great. And make sure to give us a thumb up. If you enjoy this kind of useful tutorials about how to recover things, especially data, then make sure to be subscribed to the channel. My name is Michael, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Bye.